evidence to support it. So should we be eating bugs? Yeah, because we're killing the world by raising cattle and, and animals. So there's only one right answer for this essay. And it's that Americans should be eating bugs. Everyone's, everyone else in the world is eating them. It, it's healthy for the environment. And it's just, there's only one right answer. You heard her. There's only one right answer. Bugs are good and beef is bad. Follow the science. Parents got upset and the teacher ended up apologizing, but school officials doubled down and actually defended the assignment. In a statement to Fox News, the school district said this, when the teacher realized there was concern, the student was offered another topic of the student's choice. Remember, this particular assignment is about finding fact versus opinion to support writing an argumentative essay. Our district, schools, and teachers do encourage parents and students to come to us with their concerns. Well, one of those concerned parents and their daughter who took that video, Sage and Amanda Wright, join me now. So Sage, what kind of bug did the teacher want you guys to eat? Um, it was a grasshopper. Ew, and did the other students actually do it for extra credit? Yeah, they did. <laughs> oh, disgusting. Did, were they all grossed out? Some of them liked it, actually. <laughs> the boys probably, right? Yes. Yeah, of course it's the boys. So there's only one right answer, and that's not how school's supposed to be when it's something like an essay. Do you feel bullied by this teacher? It must be uncomfortable going back to class after this. Well, I don't necessarily feel bullied, but it was kind of awkward going back to school after we talked about this topic. Well, it's going to be pretty awkward now that this is on national television. Uh, Amanda, uh, Amanda, are, are you going to take any action here, or how, how upset are you? Yes. Um, I've already went to the school and had a meeting with the principal and six other staff, and um, nothing, nothing was done. So I am planning on taking this to the district. I am definitely upset. This is an uncomfortable topic that they're pushing this agenda on our children. And I am definitely going to be taking this a step way up the ladder further. What do you know about this teacher? She seems like some kook. Uh, she's still teaching. Yeah. What are we going to do here? Yes. So I honestly don't know what the protocol is for this. I'm not sure what this, if the teacher is going to get any heat in this. Um, I'm more concerned about the district and where this curriculum came from and also the principal of the school being very condescending in um, emails that were sent by concerned parents and her response was just absolutely rude and trying to make it look like my daughter had these videos out of context, which I don't appreciate. Well, we never would have known about this bug eating threat if it wasn't for the video, so good job, Sage. You could work for yeah. prime time anytime yeah, once you time. graduate. Um, do, does, does the teach Sage? Does the teacher eat bugs too? Like at lunch? No, but she did say that she ate one in a different class. But she wouldn't. She wouldn't eat one in the class that I was in. Oh, where the kids ate the bugs. oh! So she doesn't eat bugs for lunch every day. She just wants you to. I got it. Well, that's what yeah. we call unfair in in prime time. So listen. Eat whatever you want, Sage. Uh, we're fighting for you. Uh, and and Amanda, keep us posted on what we're going to do about this teacher. Because I don't think she should be teaching Absolutely. or feeding any children. Thank you.